All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Cousins Who Disney YouTube channel. Once again, it's Misty and I'm still solo. I'm still here in New York. Um, we will be grouped together with Tammy and Alexia and Chloe after next week. Um, but we wanted to bring you another Vlogmas video because, yep, still doing Vlogmas. Um, Please subscribe to our channel, um, ring the little bell so that you can get alerted when we post new Vlogmas videos, and if you want to, check out our past Vlogmas videos. We have some really fun stuff in there. But today, I am, I am going to go over something that I'm excited about. So while you're watching this video, I'm at Disney World because I'm going to Disney World, or I'm at Disney World, for my very first ever Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Um, and I'm also gonna hit up Universal Studios and go to Harry Potter because they now are now decorating uh, the Wizarding World for Christmas. And the last time I was there, they didn't really have any Christmassy themed things. And then I'm gonna go to Toy Story Land and Festival of the Holidays over in Epcot. So I've got a busy two days packed, but I wanna share with you some of the essentials that I bring with me when I'm going to Disney World. Now, I know I posted a video about this way back in April, but that's when I was only going to Disney World for one day. Um, if you remember, that is when we did the experiment of, can you go to Disneyland in one day, fly from New York, go to Disneyland, or Disney World, sorry, fly from New York to Disney World, do Disney World, get back on a plane and go back to New York in one day. Short, short answer, yes, you can, I do not recommend it. So this is more of a kind of, not necessarily a what's in my bag, but more of just like essentials I am bringing when I'm going for multiple days. Makeup, um, it's mostly makeup. There is some other things in there that I always take with me no matter when I'm going to a Disney park um, or a theme park in general. But these are just some of my essentials. Some are new, some I may have mentioned either on Instagram or on the blog or on videos before, but that just means that I really, really like them. So let's dive into this. Okay, so the first thing is a backpack. So uh, a lot of people don't like to take backpacks to the parks. Um, some people love taking backpacks to the parks. There's also belt bags. I do have a belt bag that I'm going to attempt to try. Um, so that I don't have to keep reaching into the backpack. But since I use a electronic conveyance vehicle or an ECV, um, I usually strap the backpack to the back of the chair and then I can keep like sweaters and other stuff in there and free up the basket for like, you know, bottles of water, camera equipment, other things like that. So my favorite park backpack is, this is the Jet Setter backpack from Henry Bindle. Now, Sadly, Henry Bindle is closing at the end of the year, which breaks my heart because I love that store. Silver lining, most of their stuff is going to be on mega sale to get rid of all the inventory. So I would highly suggest getting this. Um, they come in a various, they change out the colors um, every season, but I get the nylon ones because as we know, in Florida, it rains. <laughs> and so the nylon is semi-waterproof, so the water just kind of rolls wet right off of it and your stuff inside will not get wet. I know this because it rained in Florida and my stuff inside was fine. Um, some of the things I keep with me in here, okay, so duh, but you know, your magic band. Now I got a fancy magic band. Um, this is a Minnie Mouse magic band. Um, I got this because I needed to upgrade my magic band anyways. And so I got a cute one. Um, so this is just a Minnie Mouse one, but you need your magic band no matter where you are in Disney World. So gotta have that. Second thing I keep is a mini tripod. So like this. Um, I was looking and I still am contemplating getting a gimbal for more like less shaky cam videos, but that's an after Christmas discussion with my checking account. Um, but for now, I just got a little mini tripod. Um, my regular camera will mount to this. It does come with a little cell phone attacher if I want to attach my cell phone to it. Um, I found this easy. I This is what I shot with the entire time I was in Disneyland. I just hooked up my cell phone to it and shot almost all the videos you guys, everyone saw from Disneyland was shot using this and on a cell phone. And this was like $20 on Amazon. So pretty cheap, but it's great for like any kind of like, if you're by yourself and you just want to take pictures, um, you can take this into the parks and because it does not extend, it does not, you are allowed to take it into the park. Um, you can't take anything into the park that will extend out like selfie stick um, or even some of the gimbals um, do extend out and you won't be able to bring those into the park. So either get yourself a mini tripod like this that doesn't extend 
or if you want to go the gimbal route make sure that one doesn't expand it, it doesn't expand out um the other thing i take with me is reusable straws so as you know disney is dedicated itself to, re to reducing waste and that includes getting rid of plastic straws um as far as i know they might still have them um, and in animal kingdom they only offer paper straws anyways so i decided to beat it to the clutch and got myself some reusable ones so this is a stainless steel permanent bendy straw that i have and then i have a silicone one and this one is good for milkshakes um, or anything of a thicker consistency this is great um, i just keep them in my bag rinse them out throw them back in my bag and call it a day okay so everything else is kind of basically beauty related um now when you're going no matter what if you most of the time when i go to disney it's only for a couple of days i go little clusters at a time so i try to do everything in a carry-on so i get one of these this is an on the fly bag from sephora they're about five to six dollars they're tsa approved they're because they're semi-clear um and you can just shove as many three hours or under products in this as you can and it just tucks neatly into usually a backpack or my carry-on suitcase so this is a lifesaver plus you can see what's inside of it and it's super super sturdy i think i've actually had this one for a good couple of years now um and it's great and the things i keep in it makeup wise so some of the questions i get asked on dm whether it's on the cousin to disney instagram on twitter um, on my personal Instagram, it's Misty Michelle XO. If you want to go follow me, um, is what makeup do you bring to the park? How do you keep your makeup lasting? All that good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to say about keeping your makeup lasting is a good setting spray. So I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, the Bin Nye one is great as well. Um, I'm just a sucker for this one. It works good on my sensitive skin. Keeps my makeup lasting all day long. Um, so I make sure I grab this i do have the travel size version of it um since this sadly is i think one ounce over the three ounce limit um so i use this spray this on in the morning and you're pretty much good to go with the exception of if it rains <laughs> it it's not gonna help you with a downpour it's just truth um the everything else so because like i said i do a carry-on bag so i like to try and keep all of my makeup into this little pouch right here um, so I actually got this pouch for free, um, came to me in the mail with some product, but it's a good similar size. It's probably the same size as a drop bag, um, that you can get online and I'll put some links below to some that I like. Um, but I like this because it opens up and it actually holds a lot of stuff. Um, I can keep a good chunk amount of stuff in here. I usually have a small eyeshadow palette, brushes, all of my face makeup, setting powders, everything. I try and keep all of it in here so that I have a lot more room for, you know, clothes and merch. But some of the makeup essentials that I bring with me. So the first thing is sunscreen. Um, you always wanna make sure that you're wearing some kind of sunscreen on your face so that your face doesn't burn because that's not a cute look on anybody. So I have three options when it comes to sunscreen that I always have with me. The first is when it is built into my moisturizer on my foundation and for those things i like this this is the it cosmetics cc cream and this is the matte version so it doesn't leave your skin looking all dewy and oily it's very good matte but it's a moisturizing matte um the other one i like is from first aid beauty and this is their um, ultra repair tinted moisturizer it's actually what i'm wearing right now <laughs> um and both of these have a broad spectrum um sunscreen in it the it cosmetic one is a 40 the ultra the fab one the first day beauty one is a 30 um so both are great options it really just depends on what kind of a look you're going for this one is going to be a little bit more of a medium to full coverage this is just a tint of moisturizer <laughs> it's really not going to give you any coverage at all it's just going to you know add a little bit of color i guess to your skin now if you maybe don't if your foundation maybe doesn't have a sunscreen in it so if your makeup doesn't have a sunscreen in it you don't want to go buy a new foundation because you love your foundation formula i get you i understand you so get a primer with a sunscreen in it and that's where this one comes in and this is from super goop um and this is the smooth and poreless 100 matte uh, mineral matte 
screen and it is a broad spectrum sunscreen it's spf 40 and this is actually slightly tinted and i like that because what that does is that prevents a huge white cast on your face so you're not going to get it's not going to have like that weird oxidation like white cast that some things with spf in it give you um so this is slightly tinted it melts into your skin it's a gorgeous finish um i've used this i've been using this for a little bit now um and I really like it. I'm bringing it with me just in case something doesn't have sunscreen in it. So the other things that I keep with me um, are powders because you do want a powder to set everything. And so I have the Dermablend loose powder, which I think I've talked about on the channel before. And then I also have a pressed powder. And the one that I have is one of my favorite favorites and it's the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it gives a great silky smooth satin finish. Um, and mascara, can't go to the parks without mascara. Um, if I want a waterproof option for the rainier seasons, I go with Total Temptation and this is from Maybelline. If I don't want to worry about waterproof, I go with the Climax Mascara from NARS. Both are great options, love them both. Um, when I'm, when I'm currently at the parks right now, I'm probably wearing this one just because weather looks like it's still a little bit dicey. So... Um, then there is skincare options. Um, I always take a, obviously skincare with me. I have Clinique, which is one of my favorite face washes. And then I have Pixie Glow Tonic, um, from Pixie Beauty. This is pretty affordable. This is a little bit more on the expensive side, but it works well for my skin. Um, yeah, so that is just kind of a rundown of some of the essentials that I bring with me to the parks. Um, I brought a lot of this with me to Disneyland. I'm taking a lot of it with me. Disney World where I'm at right now um and so this is just a lot of the essentials I keep with me they get me through the parks they work and I can fit it all in that little drop bag so that it all fits into my carry-on and I have more room for Disney merch so this is yeah so I know a lot of people like I said a lot of people kind of hit us up in the DMs asking us about what makeup we wear to the parks what we take with us to the parks um, so hopefully this answers some of those questions for you. Um, we will be back tomorrow with another video because that's how Vlogmas works. Um, and we are super excited to show you some great videos from the parks from my time there and some more holiday things. Um, please give this video a like if you like it. Um, follow us on social media. We are Cousins Who Disney on Facebook and Instagram and Cousins Disney XO on Twitter. And we will see you guys tomorrow for another video on Vlogmas. Bye guys.